Okay. You can't do ship management here, can you? I think you have to be at a dock or something. But well, you totally can. But yeah, so let's um, put that there. So now if we're like... Yeah, we're in a really good spot in like ship battles now. That one might have to get changed though. We'll see. Um, so there's a lot of people I need to speak to in this place, but I can't remember where they are. Beat it. I don't have time to chit chat. Oh, this is this guy. Um, you saw a pair of gloves from the dark cupboard. Give them to me. Not a chance, Aimika. Fasina sent you, didn't she? Bostonago, just for these. <clears throat> Soft as down, but not a single fence willing to pay me a fair price. Maybe they've got imp stink all over them. <laughs> You're going to have a hard time selling an Archmage's gloves for fast coin. Should have guessed these were bad luck. Well, it's too late to go making smart decisions, isn't it? Here he comes, and I'm too late. If Hamuto doesn't give me an extension on my debt, I'm a dead man. Keep your mouth shut and follow my lead. A unit of steely-eyed sailors approach the docks, clutching pikes and firearms with quiet professionalism. At their head stands a tall almoire in a mustard yellow uniform. He turns his attention between you and Bertano. So, Bertano, you hired a mercenary. Or else a negotiator. That coin should have gone toward your debt to me. Huh? No, I didn't. Uh, that is, uh, I would never go behind your back. I... Tano, shut up. The adults are talking. I like dealing with people of substance. This is a private matter. Your interference is unnecessary. You sound more reasonable than I was led to believe. Do I? One can be adherent to the tenets of maritime law and still be seen as a monster. What's your plan for Paterno? Indentured servitude. I trust this is a more honest and respectable alternative than any pursuit he would take on his own terms. <laughs> be calling it whatsoever you like, Captain Cogswallow. But your honest and respectable slavery be slavery all the same. Your toy pirate speaks out of turn. I would teach him a lesson if I were you, Captain. Um. Perhaps I can pay what's owed. You must care a great deal for this insufferable little worm to stake your purse on his freedom. No, I just need what he has. 400 pyres are what Berteno owes. And I will accept that sum to have this sorry business concluded. Sure, take it. Then our business is concluded. Return to Fasina. That's easier than I thought it'd be. I... I can't believe I'm finally out of debt. For the first time in my life, I'm free. <laughs> Technically, you're indebted to me. Not anymore, I'm not. Here, catch! Rakoa's fingers, is that what we needed? It's a new Berteno all the way. Pirate Berteno doesn't get himself in anyone's debt. Okay. Um...
Fleet Master's office. Have we been in there? I think we was. I think that's where we went to get one of the bounties. Imperial Command. Who's this? Oh, this is the Hazanui. Uh -huh. The former lady of Kadnua, and one time terrifier of harbor masters, if dark side tales are to be believed. You have not brought much good news of late. So, in addition to pirates, profiteers, and slavers, the dead fire has a vengeful god roaming its waters? I need to learn more before we speculate on the motives. If your report is true, he's stomping port towns into craters. I don't much care why he's doing it. He must be stopped. Um. That's why I came to you all at the palace. If there were help to be found at the palace, do you think Deadfire would be such a mess? The Valians won't lift a finger if isn't to snatch a coin, and the Huana will barely do that much. No one takes charge to solve the big problems. But perhaps we could work together to our mutual benefit. What do you mean? Look around. Deadfire's full of fertile, temperate islands, except for Andra's mortar. It's largely free of rough weather. Yet much of it is uninhabited. Itinerant tribes drift between some of the islands, and smugglers and slavers cluster around the rest. It's a waste. Imagine what this place could be, with well-guarded shipping routes. How many Rautians we could feed with plantations here. To me. You've got a good head on your shoulders. Deadfire needs more of that. If you're chasing the god who's stomping this place into the ground, then we have a common goal. And if you're going to survive here, then you could use an ally. Would you have in mind? The disaster at Hasango remains a key concern. We rely on the port there to ship food back to Rawatai. That's on hold until you investigate. Short of that, there are other matters that demand attention. I hear you recently traveled to Poco Kohara. Something sure did. you did there cleared the storms. Makes a person wonder what kind of secrets lie in Andra's mortar. Why'd you say that? Don't tell me you've never gazed at a horizon and wondered at what lies beyond. Or seen a no trespassing sign as a challenge. I suppose I have. That's the spirit. Rautai's storms have made us who we are as a nation. Hardy, driven, inventive. But they've also held us back forced our people to seek resources and livelihoods far from our homes and families. Imagine how much more we could achieve if we could control those storms. You think something in Andra's Mora will help you with that? Why not? The storms there cannot be natural. Not when they are so ferocious, so constant. And your exploits at Poco Kahara suggests that something else may be behind them. But enough of that for now. The trouble in Hosango forced us to send additional ships back to Rawatai to make up for shortfalls. And storms at home have delayed another portion of our fleet. This leaves us short-handed here. 
What are you asking of me? We're due to collect a special shipment for delivery to our port at Sayuka. We've contracted with a captain named Widla. Meet her, complete the trade, and take the cargo to Sayuka. Fleetmaster Okaya is overseeing the development of some special projects there. She's one of the brightest minds in Rawatai, and it shows. You two will get along. Most of her work is, or should be, under wraps for now. But perhaps she can give you a taste of what we have to offer. What's the shipment? It'll be easier for Okaya to explain. We'd learn her crew, who are they? Good sailors with a fast ship and no mind for questions. Will to be flying Principe colors. On occasions, she ain't flying false. One of the young bloods. Okay. Along with half the population of this storm tossed archipelago. What does that mean? On occasions, she ain't flying false. I don't know what that means. I understand you're cozy with the Principe. I've got no love for pirates, but that connection may serve you well here. Okay, so the Rautai with, like, on good terms with pirates? I don't know, but I, all I know is I want to help the pirates. I want to be, I think this is a pirate run. Why don't you send Whittler's crew to Sayuka? Let's just say, I'm not keen to invite them to a port where we're developing experimental technologies. So they're smugglers. Along with half the population of this storm-tossed arc- I understand you're cozy with the Principe. Okay, I can but handle it. What's next? Whitler's agreed to meet our courier out at sea, away from the heaviest traffic. This is her payment. We've already negotiated with her. Fleet Master Okaya will see to your compensation once you arrive with the cargo. This is the kind of job that's best completed quickly and quietly. I'm counting on your famous discretion. Clear skies. Okay. Calm seas. Hmm. Wait, let's just make sure there ain't nothing Some else to talk about. Some of our best engineers and wizards are working at Sayuka. You should meet with them when you deliver Widla's cargo. What's the game board for? Hazatoa. Atsura and I usually have a game running. And this one's been going on for over a month and a half. Wow. Atsura's good at misdirection. But I've got a mind for the long game. You look like you've come with a purpose. What happened to your hand? She sends her arm holding the prosthetic uh, between you. It's an exquisite piece with reinforced joints with each of the fingers and a smooth sanded finger. It happened a year into my first command. We were chasing pirates along Rawatai's south coast, and they landed a shot right next to our magazine. A lucky hit. I ran below. The fire was already spreading and making for our powder stores. What did you do? I smothered what I could with my uniform, pulled the rest away with my own hands. Damn. That's quite a quiet story. There's a cost to every victory, and the win goes to those willing to make a sacrifice. I'll bet you already know a thing or two about that, and if you don't, Dead Fire will teach you soon enough. Okay, cool. Alright, we need to find Atsuri. I think he's this way? Is this you? No, this Good is Sabor me. Again. Okay. Is he downstairs? Might be downstairs. It's impossible to cheat at Yeah, he's down there. Clear skies. Um. Seem different from the rest of the RDC. How do you mean that? 
Oh. As you wish. I destroyed the Luminous Ardra at Pokokahara. Excellent. My reports confirm a certain amount of confusion in Queen's birth. Nevertheless, I'm more interested in reports the storms around the islands have cleared. What do you know of this? Strong concentrations of essence affect the physical world. That's how blights manifest, for instance. Fascinating. And most encouraging. You've proven most valuable. Accept this as a small token of our gratitude. He hands you a purse, but his expression is distant, as if he's still thinking about what you told We'd him. We'd long suspected something unnatural was behind the storms, but we had little evidence. Rautai's played with terrible storms. You think there may be a connection? Yes. If the storms that assail Rawatai have a similarly unnatural origin, then perhaps they too can be stopped. And if that's the case, then there's more work to be done. Work that you might be able to help with. After all, somebody has to keep the peace in these tumultuous times, no? In any case, I understand Karu has you occupied with other matters. I shall leave you to them. Okay, cool. Um, there was something else we need to do here, I think. Travel to the ruins. Return to Barati. That's the Serpent's Crown. Need to f obtain one more crate. Because I want to do the Principe quest, I think. I think I'm going to go to Pirate Route. Meet with the director at the Valian Train Company offices. I think that's in... Queen's birth, yeah. Any is just outside, okay. Um, meet Whittler at sea. This will come with um, doing the Mad Marina quest. Explore the islands around Tikawara. We still need to do that. We need to do Archimedes Mana. Dude, we can do this now? Oh my god. I wonder how long we have to wait for Elof. Uh, Elof, sorry. He's gonna do one thing, then he does something else. That's called okay. strategy. Well, and don't you work? I think we're gonna go to Queen's Birth now. Turn in um, the contract. Speak to the RDC, not the Valian Trading Company. Sorry, haven't spoken to them yet. So, Tamara. All this trouble over a tablet of fucking stone. If my company standing wasn't on the line, I would have written this one off as a loss already. When it comes to finding the lost island, we can't afford to neglect any lead. The Ranganui seeks to saddle the weather and harness the storm. If there is a place where this can happen, it is Ukaizo. Okay. Uh, we can go to the Wild Mare, because that's literally right next to... Oh, you're traveling in the slums of Nekataka when the streets become suddenly barren. The cliffs high above block all sight of the stars from the narrow alleys and tunnels of Nekataka's gates. 
the reek of rotten fruit mixes with the noisome scent of dead fish, swaddling you along with a hundred other lesser filthy fragrances. Your footsteps echo in the darkness, piercing the otherwise silent slums. Strangely quiet, don't you think? Aloth looks around warily. Misshape and shadow mix with low hissing and the skittering of claws on filthy stone to resolve into a pack of scolder. The glistening moors float in the black and cave uh, grubs wriggle about their legs, mandibles snapping as if to mangle the air. I haven't seen a scolder. On the far side of the creatures, a small girl dressed in the rags of Juana grips a gleaming sword in both hands. She brandishes it wildly at the scolder, each swing of the blade releasing a howl that keeps the beast at bay. They creep ever closer to her, however, and her eyes plead with your own. Please. Um... Draw the beast's attention. Nice. With a resounding shout, as Aero rushes into the fray, the scholar to flinch and turn on your pie. They growl hungrily as they charge forward. This is very interesting. I'm guessing we could have got like... Lucy. How can I help? She's gonna die, dude. Oh no, we've we've come across Skaldrak. Never mind. Yeah, no, she's actually gonna die. What? Fuck! I don't know what to do. Wait, why can't I use this? Oh, I've got the sword out. Oh, this is not good. All right. So Doing it live. Getting us nowhere. We're fucked. <laughs> oh, right, love. I need you. Ray of fire? What is it? What does this even do? They don't get yeah, they don't I wanna see what this does. Happy to oblige. Alright, Joti, I need you to do this. Oh shit. Oh, look. I'll think worse than Ross. Watch me work. Hmm? Oh, you can't hit him? Bullshit. Here we go. What do you need? Here we go. Rare fire. Oh, it's that. Okay. Um. We'll do a little fireball. Ah, thick worth than rough. Okay, she might be able to just hold like one of them. No can do. All thick, worthen how can I help? The hunt Just is like on. That. Nice. What for, Cap? Uh oh. I'm in real trouble here. What was that? I just did. I cannot whack him any harder. Oh, very nice, very nice. Um, do another one. Sure. 
Right, I want to try this again because I don't understand what this is. How can I help? Let's try get. Let's try distract them. What for, Cap? Consider it right fucked. Yeah. Consider it right fucked. All right. Let's do this again. All thick, worth and raw. Another withers on the vine. No. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, did Alof even do anything? Hits cave grub. I don't understand what that's doing. I'm on it. I really don't. I. I don't think it's doing fuck all to be honest. Lava will be on sick. Ain't you got the decency to die? Beautiful. Oh, you grazed all of them. Fantastic. Let's try to save her. Ahoy. Only takes a finger. Uh, another attack, Cap. Yeah. What do you oh, need? Oh, God. takes a finger to blow her away. Alright, great. I thought it was a little girl, but she doesn't look like a little girl to me. Oh, already there. What's up? Um There's a few bruises and cuts, but looks otherwise unharmed. Beads of sweat commingle with trickling blood on her forehead. Finally relaxing, she lowers the sword she's been swinging, letting the edge rest in the dirt. The pommel bears the form of a dog's head. Thanks, stranger. Don't think I could have made it without you. What were you doing out here? These scolder had been picking folk off for weeks. Picking on the weak. Those too young, old, or sick to fight them off. Maybe it was stupid, but I couldn't let that go on. Not if I could help it. That was incredibly brave of you. Nah. She looks away of a blush. I mean, maybe a little. That's quite a sword you got there. Like it? My father left it for me. Told me that one day I'd defend the dead fire with it. It seemed to have magical properties. You're not wrong. I don't understand it myself, but it seemed to confuse the sculptor. Probably saved my life. Then it's an ancestral blade? Not really. Father found it and brought it home. He said he got it from some dear Wittian pirate captain with a dog named Griffin. But, well, sometimes his tales were a bit taller than true. Hmm. You look like you had it handled. I just swept in to help clean up. <laughs> I doubt it. But thanks for saying so all the same. Anyway, I think you should have this. For what you did, and for what you can do with it. Oh shit. Okay. Miss Warner and the Gullet don't have your grasp of Adirian. That's father's doing. He traveled all over and he insisted that I learn Adirian, Valian, and Rawatayan. I even know a few phrases in Anutanic. Thank you, I'll use this blade well. No, thank you for coming along when you did. And what's more, for helping. Griffin's blade. I truly appreciate what you did. Not everyone in Nekataka steps in for a neighbor. I need to be getting back to mother, though. That was such I a cool random encounter. Meet, should I? Or maybe, maybe it just pops up like a certain part of the story that you get into. I don't know. It's pretty cool though. Let's have a look at this sword.
Grant's loyal companion. Spirit of Griffin bolsters the party's courage. Grant's steadfast to the wielder and nearby allies 